Mike Comtech coming at you with another video. I just wanted to show the mechanic part of the big skull with the LCD eyes are is finished. It's not final by any means, but the mechanic part I wanted to show again uh, and down below, especially with the with the motor I put in there. Used you know the collars here. You saw that in the other video, and then that's the spring mechanism, so it can return the jaw back to a closed position. And the other collar over here. And with the, uh, the bearings basically that form when I made those holes bigger, uh, the two jaw holes here cut, you know, drill these bigger here. Then the, then the nylon, uh, st uh, the rope comes down through here, to the bottom and down all the way through. And then it comes through here from the bottom of the jaw. And then uh, this is the power connector for the LCD eyes. And then this is all going to be covered anyway. You won't see any of this. And then here's what I used for the uh, mechanism to operate the, the jaw open and closed. I used this synchronous motor, a clockwise and counterclockwise synchronous motor. Then uh, used the hole saw, drilled that to the appropriate dimension, and then used the block of wood here. It's screwed from below. There's two screws that hold this here. And then I used some silicon rubber feet to hold that away a little bit so I could have a place, maybe some tucks and wires or whatever. And then I'm coming out of here with 120 volts on the synchronous motor. And then uh, tuck the extra string down below here. I want to keep that in case I ever had to retension this. So that's a seven millimeter shaft on this particular uh, synchronous motor. And then this is a flange that I got from uh, Amazon as well. Seven, mil uh, yeah, seven millimeter internal um, the uh, dimensions on that. So it fits right on the shaft, two set screws. And then I just used basically the, uh, the bolt holes were already drilled here and I created a shaft here with a long machine screw. Put one nut here to secure it to this point to the flange and then put a uh, piece of aluminum standoff. Basically it's what that is, like a circuit board standoff, piece of aluminum here and then put another nut here to secure that and lock that all down. And then for my pivot point, then I'm using the, the tie strap just, you know, not snugly on there, loose enough just to make it so it can turn properly. And then the, uh, drilled a small hole here at the end of that, and then the, I'm using the spring here to run that to take up. It would be pretty precise to get this travel just right with, I would just put a string here. And because you'd have to either not bottom out the bottom of the jaw here, you know, not bottom this part out. And so basically the way I look at it is the spring is kind of taking up the, the equation of, okay, when I hit bottom on the skull, I continue to flow on through and not, you know, cause any extra strain. The spring, if you see, it gets a little bit longer right when it gets to the bottom rotation. And that's exactly what I wanted it to do. And then I looped the nylon through here and then I marked where I had the join those two pieces of nylon with the black marker and then I just tie strapped uh, that together to secure that and that's really tight there so it worked out really well it's been running for several hours and I'm checking anything that it's not spinning fast enough to cause any wear and tear on anything so you know like this is the nylon plastic this stuff is pretty t very very tough and you know, this thing is not spinning fast enough to cause any friction. So if you're not causing friction, you're not cutting in the, you know, <laughs> anything there. And then up in here with the, uh, with the hole here, you know, that nylon sliding through, you've got plenty of clearance there. It's not hurting anything. And then the hole that I drilled in the top of the box here is, is large enough. There's no drag here. There's plenty of, plenty of free, free play in that. So that is basically what I did, and I'm probably gonna, I'll do more to it, but this was just the, uh, the mechanical part of it right now. And then of course secured the synchronous motor with, with two screws on each side. And uh, that's, that's about it for now. Um, more plans coming, but I wanted to get all the mechanical part done here with, the, with this, and uh, uh, just to show you how I did it. Now, of course, there's about a different million different ways you can do it, but I knew if I tried to get that string just right on here, if, if you would 
you'd either have to sacrifice coming all the way to the bottom. And I wanted the, basically, let me turn him around here. I wanted the jaw to come all the way down. I didn't want it to, here, let's get to pull the light out. We got way over blowing here. Cause I wanted the jaw to come all the way down, not just come, you know, like, like halfway or whatever. I wanted it to come all the way down to far, far travel. So by utilizing that spring back there, underneath there, then when it does hit bottom, just barely hits bottom. And when it does, then that spring will take up the rest, it'll absorb the rest of the tension on that mechanism and then uh, allow it to, to flow completely open and then flow completely shut. And that was pretty sensitive because you can move that string just a, probably two or three sixteenths and it would make a, a, a difference here, of course, once it gets to this point. So anyway, again, thank you for watching my videos and I'm gonna show you, uh, set it down on the floor and I'm gonna power up the lights in the uh, other lab in there. So I'll be back. One minute later. Mike Comtech coming at you with another video. Oh, that was eerie, scary. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you what the skull looks like, uh, the large skull with the LCD eyes turned on. And like I said before, it's, it's not a final project, but uh, I'm happy with the animation that the uh, motor provides and the, the way I set it up. Um, we'll see what the longevity is you know like i said it's been running for quite a few hours and tested that looked at all the joints and everything looks fine should hold up just fine and dandy but uh there's lots of other animatronic stuff that i've got here i will do some other projects on throughout throughout the seasonal winter we've got coming here so keeps me uh, busy keeps my mind active and then of course we're doing uh, work on the uh three foot skeleton, that's uh, to be continued also. I've got the um, PWM uh, controller in. I did a preliminary test on that for the torque output. It's uh, maintained torque on the arm motor and, the, uh, and on the uh, head motor. So that's great at low speed because it, it was way too fast. But anyway, as always, thank you for watching my videos and We'll come at you later.